poppin' is your boy Mike Powers. <laughs> Going on, world. Peace, peace. St. Chris from North New Jersey, East Orange, Essex County. Stand up. Yo, you already know, man. Young rapper, be out here, man. I go by Arkin. I'm a producer, creator, artist from New York, New Jersey. And we're out here today, Mad Bull Studios. Picking it with Big Bro. Picking up. Big French, Mad Bull Productions, Mad Bull Studios. That know the vibes. The concept for Bar 20s came about uh, from a few elements. One, me and myself, well, me and Arkin. Um, you know, we love jazz, so it's a station. 88.3 FM, uh, you know, it's a New Jersey jazz station. And along with that, um, we got a lot of influence from that, just wanting to really create a certain sound from, you know, live instruments. And, of course, things like, you know, my grandmother enjoying jazz as well as just enjoying good music, man. So that's what we, that's where it's training. Yeah, I feel like for me, um, I just started, like, flipping jazz tables a lot. And I grew up playing jazz, like piano and, and drums and stuff, so... You know, I like to keep my production like musical. And when I started flipping these jazz beats, like saxophones and trumpets, you know, at first it was like, you didn't really hear somebody rapping on it, but the way Chris did it, it just started to flow and we just started stacking up joints. All I can say, bro, is I, I was blessed, you know, um, to have, you know, linked up with Big French. Um, I feel like, you know, the, the core of the album between Chris and I was, was taken care of in terms of conceptually. But I would say that, you know, what you hear is a result of, you know, Big French mix and mastering. And you know what I mean? Like you guys did all the, all the footwork, and I just kind of just put the glue on it and made it a solid piece of art. You know what I'm saying? They did everything. You know what I'm saying? All I had to do was just kind of put it together for them. And Arkin is an awesome producer. He made my job very easy. And what you hear, the final product is, is art. It's beautiful. And me linking up with Arkin, I mean, 
as solo producers, each one of us can stand on our own too. But together, it's just different. It's really, I could say, like uh, the Neptunes or any other production team. We don't sound like none of them. I just learned a lot, you know, uh, by virtue of working with each other back and forth. We would send, you know, melodies or samples, do the drums. Like, inevitably, both of our styles, you know, we were in different places for most of it. So we brought both of our styles and then we have a whole sound now. So you can go check out. Uh, we just dropped the whole project with Lennox Hughes. Um, you know, the return of Sugar Rain Quick. That's on all platforms, you know. Um, and that's just like the first of many, like he said, you know what I mean? So, yeah, man, I'm just blessed. Well, the building process, you know, to me has been, you know, immaculate because, um, you know, these some masterminds I'm working with, you know, I feel like um, you are the company you keep, so. I feel like these guys push me to a limit where I got to perform to a certain extent that's even greater than what I think I have to do. So, you know, and then, you know, already when those guys pair up, you know, magic happens, man. And more collaborations mean, you know, <laughs> just more chemistry. Uh, I think the wisdom, the wisdom comes from, I think, wanting to learn more. I feel like at a certain point in my life, I feel like I cut off wanting to, like expand the way I thought. I tend to not search for entertainment. So with that being said, the learning process is immaculate. And on top of that, I just wanted to really understand myself and self-awareness. So that's really what it was all about, man. Just connecting with myself and trying to connect with people in a different way. It's a contender for album of the year so far. Okay. Um, such a young guy coming into this game was there's a lot of sharks in the water a lot of competition out there being considered possibly album of the year how does that reception from the from the critics and the fans make you feel about what you're doing i mean it's a good feeling um it's also you know a bit of sweet feeling because i know i have to you know connect even more dots you know it's a great accomplishment to be considered album of the year but i feel like it's much more work to be done man it's definitely much more now, could we are we expecting more of a jazzy feel on the next project from St. Chris, or I would say it's more soul. You know, definitely um, a lot more collaborations too. Um, stepping out of a comfort zone, so I definitely want to, you know, come a little different on this uh, project. And as far as what's going on uh, in the industry right now, yeah. all the MCs that are out there, let me ask you this: Who do you like in your downtime? Who you listening to? I mean, industry-wise, um, I feel like, you know, I listen to the Young Goats, you know, the Kendricks, the Coles, but even, you know, I'm, I'm in touch with the underground, too. You know, I listen to uh, the Planet Asia's of the world, the, the Mussolini's, Riggs, etc. Flea Lord. I, go, I can name a whole bunch, but, you know, you know, I tend to tap into, you know, where I come from, you know, th those guys are from New York, California, I'm from Jersey, they're from a place where, you know, you just gotta really stand out to, you know, really fit in, if that make any sense, you know? Absolutely. Ark, who you listening to? Man, I've been listening to that Bar Lord, D. Stallone, it's like my number one project right now, album of the year. Woo! Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, same thing, you know, like, I definitely listen to a lot of underground artists, um, you know, mainstream is cool, but I kind of, I'm more tuned in with, like, you know, the Lord Mob, the Trust, those type of, you know, um, artists, and even production-wise, you know, like the, the classic Boom Bap, East Coast, that's really my lane right now, so that's, you know, that's... That's what I grew up on too, man, you know what I mean? So that's how I feel about, you know, the, the, the scene right now. Word. Right now I'm listening to um, Reef Hustle. Album's called For A Reason. Uh, Torchville.com if you want to check it out and get that. It's a dope MC. He's a big puns protege. Good friends with um, Freddie Garson. You know what I'm saying? And I'm also listening to Linux Hughes. Return of Sugar Rain quick.
on all platforms. Completely unbiased opinion. Um, um, I mean, that's what it is, right? That's what you just gave me. That yeah. was all unbiased. All, all unbiased. Just Linux use. Linux use, Reef Hustle. Reef Hustle. Lord Mob. Flea Lord. It just so happens you work so happens that I work with these people, but I like them genuinely. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you're not listening to nobody else. Um. Uh, let me see. Mahalia uh, Jackson. Mahalia Jackson. Uh, Michael Jackson. The Jackson Five. Jeffrey Osborne. Oh, yeah. Jeffrey Osborne. Can't forget Jeffrey Osborne. Um, Johnny Kemp. Um... Dennis Edwards. I don't know who Dennis Edwards is. <laughs> nah, but some real shit though. I do listen to a lot of old school hip hop. I I still listen to like Tribe Called Quest, uh, Most Def. Yeah. Busta Rhymes. You know. I'm still listening to all the all the you know true hip hop shit. You know what I mean?